Hey YouTube, today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Dual on Naboo from 2017. The age range is seven to 12, set number is 75169, and there were 208 pieces. Uh, the set retailed for either 25 or $30 back in 2017. Um, and it was a great set and a great way to get these really nice named characters in, in a cheap way. So uh, let's get onto those minifigures now. So here are the three minifigures you get in the set. You get Darth Maul, Obi-Wan, and an apprentice kind of version with the uh, Padawan braid. And you get Jedi Knight, Qui-Gon Jinn. I'll start over here with Maul. Uh, he's got a double-bladed red lightsaber. Um, he's got that um, relatively uh, old piece now, but uh, the new way of doing the, uh, what is Darth Maul's species called? I forget. But uh, uh, Zabrax, I think. Um, so he's got those Zabrak horn piece on his head. Um, the back printing is pretty minimal. Uh, it's just kind of like a belt you can see there and um, just some, I don't know, flabs, flabby skin hanging over. No, it's his uh, tunics hanging over his belt. Um, and that's pretty much all his torso and his printing are is just um, his tunics. Uh, his head is really creepy. He's got those creepy eyes you can see. Uh, nice tattoo printing on there yellowed out, a little bit yellowed out teeth. Um, in general though, a really good one, uh, Maul, except for the freaky kind of looking face. Um, next you got Apprentice Obi-Wan. He's got that nice printed braid there on the front of his torso, his Jedi tunics, really detailed with the belts for all the Jedi characters. Um, he has also back printing there. You can see with his belt pouches, his little metallic printing things on there. He does have an alternate face. Um, well, let's see if I can get it off without taking the head off of him, too. Um, here, let's see. There we go. All right, there's his alternate face. He's angry. This is probably like, you know, uh, Maul's just killed a Qui-Gon or <clears throat> has just stabbed Qui-Gon. And now Obi-Wan's enraged and uh, maybe letting a little dark side out there, taking his anger out on Maul. Uh, finally, you have Qui-Gon here. Let me put Obi-Wan's hair back on. Uh, finally, you got Qui-Gon. Um, a character I always really wanted when I was a kid. I never had a Qui-Gon. Uh, I had some Obi-Wans, but never got this. So I took the opportunity to buy a cheap set to get my Qui-Gon Jinn minifigure added to my collection. He's got that same nice, print, uh, nice, print, nice printed, nice uh, exclusive hair piece. I think they only ever use it for Qui-Gon. Uh, they might have used it as for one of those uh, uh, The Force Awakens guys. Um, but uh, nice Jedi you know, robes again printed on. Uh, it's a little pale printing on those brown legs, but um, again, it gets the point across. Uh, green lightsaber, that's the newer kind of green lightsaber. And he does have an alternative face, just kind of a sad face that they would have is his stabbed face. So that's where Maul's just impaled him. Uh, kind of a sad thing to think about. Um, but yeah, that's the figures. Great figures, great cheap way to get them all. And uh, let's get on to the set. So here's the set, uh, not too many stickers. In fact, I think this is the only sticker here on this curved wall piece. Um, and that looks nice. It's got lights on it and a little bit of different uh, levels of metal wall uh, things simulated with the different colors there. Um, you've got your main kind of energy shaft thing that Obi-Wan falls down and then Maul proceeds to fall down next. Um, but you can start here over on this platform so I'll just use one Jedi, Obi-Wan, as an example. So you'd have him waiting behind this energy wall, which in the film, of course, is a solid kind of wall. But here they just simulate it with red lightsaber blades. Um, and what you do is you have him waiting there on the uh, walkway, and you'll push in with this Technic thing here, this Technic um, rod, axle piece. And you'll push through, and the lightsabers will open out, or the wall will come up, and then Obi-Wan can run in and uh, fight Darth Maul. And so you just pull it out the other way and you close back up. Um, down underneath that walkway, you've got kind of a built up little, uh, you know, column there. You've got this little energy. I think this whole, this whole Naboo uh, energy facility has these huge pink, um, pinkish purple, like plasma beams going up and down. Uh, like they're harvesting the energy. Uh, they kind of simulate that idea here with that little, those three or four pink um, disc pieces. Um, it looks good. And they've got a clear dome over the top of it. So you can lift this up and take those out, but it's kind of pointless. 
Uh, here, you've got this thing sticking out, which doesn't look like it does around the rest of it. And there's a reason, because you can push on that. And underneath here, you've got a six wide uh, dish piece that when you push down, it pops up. So then the idea is just like the movie, Obi-Wan's down in the pit, Darth Maul's up top here. The idea is that Obi-Wan, you can have him jump up, uh, but you can see, there you go, he's out. So you can just hit that a bunch of times, eventually he'll pop up. Um, you got down there those little red lights simulated on the sides with the red studs. Now uh, I got some nice trans blue tiles here all around, really makes it pop against the generally black and gray look. You got some gold down there too. Uh, this Technic function's pretty cool. You know how it goes in and out and stuff. It's got like a stopper there. Oop, I heard them all. That's why it's not working. You can see there's a there's a hole there and you got a yellow Technic axle there and that'll just kind of be a stopper. It'll go into that and stop. Uh, but yeah, that's really all there is to talk about this set. It's a nice little display piece in a way and a play set. Um, and a great way to get your um, very classic, desirable, the Phantom Menace characters. Um, but yeah, that's the set. And uh, there's the box. There's the instruction manual. It's not too thick. Uh, the box is nice. Got that Rogue One box art. Got advertisement for that Force, Master Your Force. I never used that. Never did that thing. Um, but yeah, that's the set. And uh, I'll see you in the next review. Bye.